Hi YouTube, this is Jen. Um, today is February, Sunday, February 14th, 2010. It is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, it's day, I believe, 44. I think 44 of Project 365. Um, Got my hair up funky because I'm gonna straighten it, so I'm gonna do the bottom layer first and whatever. And yeah, and I'm not gonna wear my scarf obviously when I straighten my hair, but I put it on because this one I left downstairs and it never made it into my scarf collection video. But um, I don't know if you can tell the colors or not, but it is purple and green and like an aqua color. And it's the fun buddy. So yeah. That one didn't make it into the Star Collection video. This one I found at the thrift store, too. Today, um, I didn't get to see Brandon today because he had to work. And he was working, like, evening, so I didn't get to see him. If he was working mornings, we would have seen each other. But, um, working evening today. And, um... What else? I watched the Daytona 500. Some of you might know that my boyfriend got me into NASCAR, so I was rooting for Biffle. And I quite a few times I thought he stood a chance at winning the whole thing, especially when it got down in the last few laps and he was right in the front and he's like Go, he kept going like back and forth, back and forth, like being in the lead and not being in the lead. And then it gets down to the final freaking lap. He makes his way into first and then gets passed in the same freaking lap. And I was so mad. I was, I was like worse than a guy watching the Super Bowl. I was so mad. I was like, I was so mad. I flipped off the TV. I was cussing. I was... Ugh. I was very, very upset. Because I wanted him to win. He has... Um, he hasn't won in... Now... 45 races. <sighs> Pouty face. I really wanted him to win. Yeah. If you've seen my other video where I was talking about uh, NASCAR and sports in general, I mentioned why I like Biffle, but if you didn't see that, I'll explain real quick. When I went to the race in uh, 2008, I think it was, I went to... Um, the sprint, first sprint cup race, first chase race in Loudoun, and uh, I asked Brandon who who would I like because I didn't have a driver yet. I didn't I hadn't picked anybody yet, and he told me you might like Biffle. He puts out a calendar every year for animals, so I picked him. Didn't know what his car number was. Didn't know what his car looked like. Didn't know what he looked like. Didn't care. I was like, Biffle. Biffle's my guy. So, I rooted for him, and he won that race, and then he went on to win the next race. And that was in 2008. And, um, I really wanted him to win this one. He came in third. So that's really good. But I really wanted him to win. I was so sad. Anyway. Um, 
tomorrow I'm gonna tomorrow I'm gonna see Brandon and uh, my cat's knocking crap over. Yeah. I don't have anything else to talk about and I'm gonna um, I know it seems weird to straighten my hair at night time, but if my mom decides she wants to go out tomorrow and in the morning while Brandon's at work, I want to be able to go with her. So I don't want to be fussing with my hair. So I'm going to straighten it. It'll stay relatively straight even if I sleep on it. And uh, I can always heat it up and go over it again in the morning if I have time. And if not, a lot. My hair is getting, like, really weird. It's, like, I don't know. I'm going to get cut in the spring. Um, not, like, short, but I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. But it definitely need, has some... By spring, it's really... It's not very even because I cut it myself the last few times. Or last several times that I've cut it or trimmed it. I've cut it myself. And I haven't got it done at a salon for a long time. And it's getting longer, so I don't know. Brian said in the spring that uh, he'd take me to this the nice salon that I like where they use um they use vegan stuff. Look at my perverted cat. Oh my gosh. Now you're gonna stop now. Look what he's doing. It's so gross. He um <laughs> he takes his paws and he's all like front and back paws like this to my stuffed penguin that Brandon bought me when I was sick um last year. He bought me this stuffed penguin and it's pretty big. Um I named him Peter. Peter the Penguin. Yeah, I'm weird like that. I named him. And Mittens has claimed him as his boyfriend. I love gay people. I love gay animals. I don't care. But I'm, I'm really convinced that my cats are gay. Because him and this thing with a boy name. And, um... Blade is trying to try to do inappropriate things to mittens, and they're both fixed. Yes, they are both fixed. I wouldn't have my cat not be fixed, but um, it's so weird. <laughs> he does this. He does this like every day too, like several times a day. It's like, come on, mittens, get a room. And it's my stuffed animal. Like, mittens. Enough already. Anyway. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to talk about. <laughs> He's so funny. He purrs, like, so loud when he does this, too. He's like... He's like... <sighs> <laughs> okay, I am not gonna cut this or edit it or anything. I don't care. You guys can see how weird and crazy I am. I don't care. But, um, I do have a few bloopers, I think, and probably will have more. So I probably will upload a bloopers video by the end of the month or next month. I'll upload one for Feb February bloopers. Anyway, bye bye and I will talk to you all tomorrow. I hope you all had or are having a great Valentine's Day and I'm going to celebrate mine the next couple days. Not today. Hope Biffle does better next time. The three's, third's good but I want him to win. Hope he wins one for me this year. Anyway, bye bye